Hello, I'm Senator Mark Kirk. We need to protect Lake Michigan, the crown jewel of our environment and the source of drinking water for millions. To keep you informed on the health of the lake, I'm publishing our first Lake Michigan report card. This report card assesses beach water quality, sewage pollution, mercury contamination, water levels, and invasive species of our lake. It identifies how we can take action to protect Lake Michigan. On beach water quality, our grade is a D. There are 52 public beaches in Illinois. According to the Illinois Department of Public Health, we had 579 beach closures or contamination advisories last year. Persistent beach closures are a threat to public health and cost millions in lost revenue. In response, Congress should enact the Beach Act to improve contamination warnings and assessments to lower the number of beach closings. For sewage pollution, our grade is a C. More than 24 billion gallons of raw sewage are dumped into the Great Lakes each year. In 2010 alone, 6.5 billion gallons were discharged into Lake Michigan from Chicagoland. We need to set a federal date certain to ban all sewage dumping in the Great Lakes, backed by steps to disinfect the Chicago River. Senator Durbin and I introduced S-147, the Great Lakes Water Protection Act, to set that date and ban all sewage dumping in our lake. For mercury contamination, our grade is incomplete. Mercury can transform into a more toxic form, methylmercury, which bioaccumulates in fish. When eaten, contaminated fish can cause nervous disorders, particularly in children. The Great Lakes states and Canadian provinces post mercury advisories for fish, for inland water bodies, but more data is needed to measure this threat in the Great Lakes themselves. We know very little on the cycling of mercury in the Great Lakes. The EPA should update its mercury tests annually and report on the trend of mercury contamination in our lakes. Our grade for water levels is a D. Water levels have an enormous effect on the lake's ecosystem, boating, navigation, and fishing. Lake Michigan water levels declined since the 1990s. Current water levels are about three feet below the level of 582 feet set 25 years ago. Every foot of decline from the high in this section meant we downgraded the grade a full letter. Dredging to support boating and shipping is much more expensive at lower water levels. Congress should respond by resolving any disputes holding up the Harbor Maintenance Act. Our grade for cleaning up Superfund polluted sites is a B. Polluted Superfund areas of concern surround the Great Lakes. For example, the U.S. and Canada recognized Waukegan Harbor as just such an area after the Outboard Marine Corporation dumped PCBs into its harbor. There are a total of 43 such polluted areas around the Great Lakes. Cleanups began in 1990, and it now seems that the full restoration of Waukegan Harbor is within reach. Our last grade for invasive species is a C. Keeping out invasive species, especially Asian carp, is imperative. Asian carp have not been found in the Great Lakes, but spawning populations are present about 150 miles away, and eDNA results are positive for Asian carp found above the barriers. Just last month, three consecutive eDNA samples for carp were found in Lake Calumet, above the barrier, which is designed to keep carp out. The Army Corps of Engineers should make every effort to up the voltage at the three electric dispersal barriers as a further deterrent for Asian carp in our lake. Now, based on all these considerations, our overall grade for the health of Lake Michigan is a C. There have been great strides in the last few years to enhance the restoration of natural habitats and reduce pollution and combat invasive species. But it's clear we have a very long way to go. I'll be working to advance solutions that I outlined above and would appreciate all your help in protecting this crown jewel of the Midwest ecosystem, the Great Lakes, and especially Lake Michigan. Thank you.